Greetings. Last year I did an interview with a couple of guys named Mark Cardone and Theron Fight. They have a website called Achieve Results Now and they do podcasts. And sometimes they do interviews and I was interview number 201, which I loved. No real reason why, I just loved the number I was 201. And I talked about leadership, that entire video. I mentioned healthcare because that's part of my background, but still it was about leadership. And I told this one particular story and I decided I was gonna share that story with you here. And then I'm gonna to link to the interview that I did about 45 minutes or so. And if you're interested, go give it a listen. I think it, was, it went really well. I had a good time. So here's the story. I was getting some sales training through a company here in Syracuse area. I knew the president of the company. I knew his family. <laughs> I knew his, I went to high school with his daughters. And you know, it was just a general sales training. And there were a bunch of guys in there who were from the same company, which was interesting. Because usually, you know, it was individual people, sometimes maybe one or two, but this was like six or seven people. So the guy whose name was Pete was doing the presentation and he started asking questions. And one of the guys there said, well, you know, the guy we work for, he was really good at sales. He knows his stuff. So Pete says, well, how come he doesn't train you? And the guy said, He's afraid to train us because he thinks that if we know everything he knows, that then we will go and establish our own business and we'll compete against him. And Pete just had this look on his face and I had this thought in my mind, which basically said, how do you expect your people to do the best job they can if you don't wanna train them how to do the job? And I've thought about that over the years because I've run into that problem way more often than you would imagine where there are people who feel like if you go in there and you achieve something that you're gonna make them look bad, they may lose their job, they may even lose their job to you. Now, that's ridiculous. You know, I don't wanna work for somebody else. I certainly don't wanna to move to another state. No one's gonna pay me to fly back and forth across the country to take anybody's job. And as far as me making somebody look bad, truthfully, the people who are worried about looking bad are not people whose job overall I could do in the first place. Just because they can't do my job does not necessarily mean I could do their job. But it's an interesting thing because that happens pretty much all across the country. There are a lot of people who work in a lot of different types of businesses who don't get the training they need because the person in charge is afraid that one of those people is going to be better than them, make them look bad, and not only take their job, but then they'll be fired. And you can't, if you're in any kind of leadership position, you can never, never hold your people back because you're afraid you're gonna be fired. I w was thinking about this when the other day my mother had on, okay, I put on for her, the movie Nine to Five, where the guy in charge is a jerk. He really doesn't understand anything that's going on, but he got the job because he was a man, because the woman who reported to him is the one who trained him. She taught him everything she knew about the thing about the job and then he gets promoted over her and then she's still doing all the work and eventually you know he ends up being shipped out of the country and truthfully i think that it's a little uh intolerant uh based on xeno xeno i don't even know how you say the word right now but um let's just say that in today's world you could not make that video and have that ending i'm just saying Anyway, it's one of those kind of things where if you're worried about losing your job to someone else, then you probably don't know what you're doing. I've never worried about anybody taking my job away. I put the best work out there. When I was an employee, I worked to train my people. I wanted my folks to know as much as possible. If they could learn more than me, fine. I love that because I had other things to do. I didn't sit there worrying about my job because if I sat there worrying about my job, then I couldn't have done my job. And my people couldn't have done their job and we couldn't have produced what we produced and we'd have all been out of work. So that's my thing today. If you're in a leadership position, don't fear the people who work for you. Train them, teach them, give them all the tools. And you know what? If you're giving them all the tools, you should be learning them as well. Because if you don't learn, that's your fault because you're the person who's in charge of it. Train your people. Give them the opportunity. That's what I have for you today. My name is Mitch Mitchell. 
I'll see y'all later.